show. I am the Baby Witch del Tarot, and today I'm um, coming with your reading. Just a quick reminder that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Just please uh, take what it does resonate and leave out whatever it does not. Also, remember that the roles can be reversed in between you and your person. So with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Let's see what the universe has for Aquarius, though. Let's see what the universe has for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much. We got the individuality right here. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, let's see. So we got the playful card. The fulfillment card. You could be dealing with a Leo. Just so you know. This reminds me of the, of the I want to say the nine of pentacles in the tarot cards. Then we got fulfillment. Then we have the reminder card. Then we got the risk. You might be dealing with that Aries. Then we got the warrior card. You could be dealing with a water sign such as Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, we got the forbidden card right here. I see uh, Gemini and or Capricorn also. And then we got that denial card right here. And overall energy, we got, oh my god, everything went flying. Did I? Yes. Overall energy, sorry about that. We got the letting go card. And the chaos card right here. So, I see a lot of cancer energy here. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the high priestess of spirit and love in reverse right here. Ooh, ooh, let's go with this right here so it's like you're trying to let go of a situation you're trying to transform i think you're trying to let go of a person most definitely but i feel like something is stirring up the pot let me just leave that to the side let me see what's going on so individuality right here i feel like you actually felt for somebody that you felt it was different or whatever you felt you felt like it was something different and unique it's like a new feeling is like you have never felt like this towards this person and this person seems to be really interesting really this person could be either younger than you you could be younger than this person not necessarily but just you know also means like this person was actually bringing up some sort of like inner child like that joy that you maybe forgot or thought you had and it was like you felt for this person because it was it was so different and it was like fun to be around fulfillment and reminder it's like this person remind reminded you of those feelings that you haven't felt in forever and it was like uh like a taste of like forbidden fruit like it was like oh my god i can't believe it it was like like wine you know like i don't know what i said wine but it's like wine you know something delicious but also if you drink too much of it you can actually get really drunk so it's something that it was sweet but also bitter like it's something like it was good but it also was like a little bit a little bit dangerous you know if you don't take care of it or if you don't take the right steps to it you know with the risk and the worry like it was a risk for you because this person was clearly hurt or it was clearly somehow damaged and this is like the like the fuck boy or fuck girl vibe that is somebody beautiful somebody so so in like so mysterious so like somehow sad that you go like i have to jump into it and help them and fix them you know i feel like sometimes you tend to do this like trying to fix people or trying to help people and it's like you attract this kind of people once in a while you're really attracted to this but this person seems sad and sexy and mysterious and that's why you fell for them and even though that you knew this could end differently or you can or you knew this could end up bad you did not care and you still take like took the risk to give them a chance or talk to them or something like that but look at this the forbidden and the denial here this this was again a taste of forbidden fruit like i said before and denial right here it was like it was a complicated it seems to be like it was a complicated uh connection uh it could have been because you were uh, already involved with somebody or your person was not single and even though that it was there was a lot of chemistry there was a lot of tension and there was a lot of like maybe sex or like sexual sexual tension let's put it this way um you you know it was wrong because again either or you were with somebody or somebody was with somebody else it's like 
you knew it was wrong but it was like you could not stay your, away from yourself and this makes sense now because look you were trying to let go because you knew again this was wrong and that you did not want to get in trouble or get this person in trouble but it was like really hard for you to, to do so and even though you tried to let go something happened that it caused a lot of trouble a lot of stress a lot of like i feel like if you were married or if you were with somebody somebody told somebody else and you end up single and now life is not that easy or it could be vice versa like they were not single and whoever they were with realized that they had somebody else and it caused a lot of tension and overly stress extra stress to their life but again this was a beautiful connection but it was a lot there was a lot of problems and challenges and too many people surrounding this connection so let's see how does your person views you how does aquarius person views aquarius please how does aquarius person views aquarius though i need to know that how does aquarius person views aquarius though thank you spirit we have the message here it's like they want to talk to you they want to communicate with you because i feel like something happened like i said you know better than me and you guys had to stop talking or stay away from one another uh we got obedience card right here this reminds me of the justice card i feel this could be a libra or another air sign that you're dealing with um we got the um belonging in reverse okay i see what's going on so i'm gonna tell you right now in a minute let's see what else we got we got the same card in the reverse warrior uh warrior right here <clears throat> sorry i'm getting like sick so i can't pronounce things sometimes and then we got the differences card right here this also could be a gemini also even a leo again you know you might be dealing with a leo with some gemini in it then we got cycles right here i feel like you guys met each other when time was not right like it was not the right time for you guys to meet one another because you guys were both unavailable for some reason yeah okay i'm getting overall energy please okay we got loyalty and forbidden for the overall energy right here let's see if i get anything else okay the funny thing i put these two cards back and they went and jumped out so it means that you sh i should most definitely take them so honesty and choices right here there uh you could be dealing with a fire sign also i'm gonna put this aside and then i'll explain it in a minute that's how i roll that's how i work put it right there so we got messages and obedience right here i feel like somebody either or it was you or this person did message you something or you guys message each other and because I'm most definitely sensing that this relationship was forbidden because somebody had somebody else. Somebody did not delete the messages. And somebody else found out it could be your person that you were with that you did not love. and Or it could have been the person that they were with that they did not love. Um, saw the message and actually caused a lot of trouble. Somebody's going through a lot of legal issues. It could be divorce or it could be like taking away a house, taking away properties because of this message, okay? Because... It was a little bit of a mistake. It was a little bit of like not being careful enough and somebody discovered somebody else's message and they read it and that is why this situation now is a little bit more complicated and more and it's definitely involving legal matters like lawyers or something like that. And look at this right here. Again, it's something about their relationship. I feel like your, uh, your person right here, I feel like this was your person. I feel like hmm <laughs> i'm not sure who this person was right but i feel like they send a message and maybe it's you who is going through like legal issues or i feel like or it could be like they um they really like that message that you sent and they thought they could have like kept it under the rug but they couldn't and somebody read it because their person was suspicious so i feel now he is um has no foundation what i mean by that is like they got kicked out of their house they're kind of losing everything because of this message because of this relationship unfortunately but i feel like they view you going back to that this is a situation that is this is the message that i'm getting i'm sorry i cannot put this is not scripted so it's gonna be how it is you know what spirit tells me that's what i'm gonna give you guys so we got differences right here and cycles right here so i feel like they felt really connected to you they felt like you were their person maybe a soulmate you know and 
it was like you guys were different but you guys were alike at the same time and they liked that about you about you guys' connection and there was cycles right here so it's like you guys have been um going through this or with this for a while but i feel there was a need of like you guys did not meet at the right time um whatever you guys are going through right now is just a phase because i feel like you guys are gonna get back together but it's like you guys needed to be available you know like honestly single and that is why things are going um really difficult right now because you guys are getting met whenever it was not the right time unfortunately and when the self-worth and the high priestess of spirit right here it's like you knew things were not right and you tried to step back many many times but you guys were connected by spirit you guys are connected it was like a incredible chemistry that you cannot even explain so it was like how can i stay away from this person when i love them so much so it was like you put your um self-love and your values to the side for this person because you are not the kind of person who will do this on a regular basis like you will not actually mess with somebody who has somebody else or you will not actually let's say um sorry i'm gonna fix my wig i don't care um if you would not mess with somebody else if you were in a relationship but this person was like um an exception you know it was like an exception and all of this happened like so quick that you did not have a chance to think and act right but this person saw, saw you as somebody really important somebody that they want to be with and that is why they got so careless because whatever message you guys sent to one another or oh, it could have been a photo it was so they liked it so much that they did not delete it and they left their phone out of, unattended and this person saw the message and if it hasn't happened please be careful whatever you send delete it i'm sorry you don't want this to happen um because what is like what's going on is like a lot of uh legal issue issues like this person might end up homeless or without a bankrupt you know but here regardless of that loyalty and forbidden you guys weren't mixed in and within should i be loyal to my partner or should i go ahead with uh my, my with my desires and my needs and you guys were um you guys actually mixed them things up i feel like you guys were in that situation that you had to decide and i feel like you guys put aside your loyalty or what it was right to be with one another and that's what it caused this tremendous uh chaos tremendous uh storm problem whatever you want to call it but this person did like you a lot and i don't see remorse <laughs> I mean, even though they're going through a lot, just so you know, they don't regret that. They don't regret meeting you. They don't regret being with you because they do care for you and they do like you and they want to be with you. The thing is that you guys met at the worst time possible. But, hey, things happen for a reason, right, bro? So let's see what is the outcome, Aquarius, between you and your person. Let's take a look at what is the outcome. Let's see. Let's see, Spirit, what is the outcome between Aquarius and their person? So we got invisible card right here the group card right here then we got the message right here the obedience right here again i see a lot of like libra here the high priestess of spirit right here then we got the rigid right here loyalty right here then we got the letting go oh okay i'm not liking this now Let's see, confidence and vision right here. <sighs> okay, so I see that your person might try to fix things with their partner. Um, Because unfortunately, there's a lot for them to lose. There's a lot to lose here, you know? Uh, think about it. They're gonna, they could be bankrupt. They could take lose a lot of money. Uh, they could lose properties. They could lose a lot of things because they cheated. And whoever they're with, we're with, could prove that. And they might have kids with this person, you know? So, right now, you are going to be feeling, if it hasn't happened, it might happen invisible. This person is going to ghost you. They're not going to talk to you for a while. It could be a lot of silence in between you. And it's like, you are going to be confused of like, should I move on from this person? Should I wait for them? Um, it's like, you're not going to know exactly what to do. You're going to be really sad and you're going to be like, where is my person? Like, you're going to be waiting for a message 
waiting for um, something something and it might not arrive whenever you want it you know because this person tend to text you right away and you're not gonna get that then we're gonna get the message and the obedience part right here I feel you're gonna get a message that you might not like it's more formal than loving I feel this person is gonna tell you that unfortunately they have to let this go and that unfortunately they have to do what's right and try they're gonna try to fix things with their partner because again they have a lot to lose when it comes to money and i feel like they think that is the right thing to do they're gonna put their feelings aside your feelings aside and they're gonna do what thing what they think is right for money and and stability at this point um you're gonna always be connected with this person with by spirit for a while or for a while uh, this person is gonna build their walls up and they're not gonna talk to you for a while they're gonna try to disconnect from you but it's gonna be easier on the physical world it's gonna be harder on the spirit world because you guys are again connected because you guys are kind of like soulmates or spiritual companions you know whatever you want to call this again this person is gonna uh, build their walls really up and they're gonna try to not talk to you they're gonna try to ignore you perhaps giving you the cold shoulder but they're gonna actually keep on watching you for a while because they're doing it for money and legal reasons not because they don't love you it's not an excuse i'm just telling you what it is the loyalty and let it go they're going to actually choose to stay with their person because again they could have kids together or they could have again a lot of properties and they're going to actually tell you to move on or they're going to give you that vibe of that you have to let go because they're going to choose to be with their person for a while not just because they love them it's because there's something more there's like more money and kids involved prob probably and with the confidence it's like you're gonna see this and you're gonna be heartbroken you're gonna lose a lot of your confidence and you thought that this person will do anything because this person promised you that they will do anything for you and probably they, pro they promised you that they were gonna leave their person and now you're gonna be facing the truth that this person might not do that because there's a lot at, at play for them there's a lot of things that they need to lose so it's like you're gonna be like looking at them like are you for real like you're gonna be in like literally shock because you don't believe this and again they don't love this person like whoever they're choosing they're not, they don't love this person they just have a lot to lose like that's that person that they're gonna choose for now is because they're trying to fix it but they're not their person that person is not their home it's like again they will lose a lot of money and they cannot afford that right now so they're trying to do what every I, i'm pretty sure i heard that their lawyer told them or somebody told them can you just try to fix it and that's what they're trying to do like trying to get advice and they got advice so they're gonna go follow it but let me tell you something this is not over in between you two because this person is not happy look this person will not be happy with this it's gonna be a long time or a lot of time before you guys get together but look at this this person feels trapped in this connection they're doing it because of money or legal issues not because of love and again this person is not happy with this person right here so this is not over this is just a cycle a phase this person will be back if you want them back if you take them back that's on you that's not on the tarot cards you have your own responsibility to make your own decisions so if you don't want them back bye bye right but this person is not happy they feel tied down they feel like they have no other choice but to stay with that person but they realize and they want to deny that you are their fulfillment but it's going to be really, really hard for them to forget you because look at this. This is going to be a reminder. Always, there's something going to be, or something that you guys did together is going to be a reminder for them that they love you and they can't get over you. And look at this. You have a fragment of them. It's like you're a part of them and they're not going to be able to forgive you, to forget you. And look at that. They're going to break that oath. They're going to, at the end of the day, they're going to break that that oath or that relationship that they have and they're not going to care about the consequences but it's going to happen down the line it's not going to happen right now so they're going to come back around eventually but it's not going to be now you got to let them be you got to focus on yourself and let things develop the way that they need to because like i said before you guys met at the wrong time it was not the right time for you guys to be to get to be together so it's gonna be it's not sad it's more like a pause you know it's not like it's over it's like not now kind of vibe you know so let's see what your um angels has to say let's see what your angels have to say look there's something better let's see what else thank you spirit wait in the near future unlikely
forgiveness. There are a ton within the next few weeks. No need to worry. Peaceful resolution. And yes. So like I said before, it feels like it's not the right time. And take action, helpful people. So I feel like you're going to be able to meet other people. And you're going to be able to let go of this connection for now. But again, uh, Aquarius, I know it sounds sad. And it's not what you want to hear because who wants to hear this? But it's not over. Unfortunately, things are going to develop that way regardless if you want them or not. Because you guys did not meet at the right time. You guys were both unavailable. At this time, this person will come back when time is right. And if you want them back, well, you can take them back or not. And this is the energy reading. I always offer a number. This number is given to you by your ancestors and or angels. What you need to do is to find the meaning of this number. And make sure that it's the spiritual meaning or the angel's number, okay? This could be extra guidance for you for this message or so. So let's see what's the number for you, Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. So you got number 61 number 61 will be your number just make sure you look at that at that number online so this is the end of your reading i want to thank you for sticking around and please like and subscribe i'll be back next week with more videos thank you so very much bye